field than when it's completely dry. Here's the pride of Oklahoma right there. Uh, they, well, there's four of our captains. Uh, the NCAA only allows you four captains uh, to walk in the middle of the field, so we've got two on the sideline, Dean. Virginia Tech wins the toss. He likes to kick to Oklahoma. Ball goes to Ernest Williams. 20-yard return. Sooners take it, take it over. Eight, nine people to, to the run. Uh, they, they're able to line up and, and blitz different people, strong safeties inside linebackers there. We turn the ball over, but Kale is able to pick it up and advance it to a first down. Four, 25 yards on the season. We're coming with a zone player out there out of two tight ends. There's Joe Bowden coming up inside and making the play. Joe missed practice Tuesday and Wednesday due to a pull muscle. Uh, we're pleased to see him back on the field, but that is a concern of ours. Gain of one, third and 11 from the 36. Trying to hit the trap, in there people up inside. Did a lot of movement here. We tried to run the option. Their strong safety really forces the pitch. Again, he forced uh, the fumble right there. Kenyon wasn't able to pick it up. Consequently, uh, we fumbled the ball in the end zone. This was a, a big play, obviously, because of uh, two tight ends, two flankers. But it was a good recovery by Terry Ray. Here, they're trying to a double pass. They're trying to hit a, a back down the boundary. Uh, we, we played the, the trick play. We just didn't do a very good job of tackling pursuing the football right there. Secondary played well uh, during the game. Russell Allen's in there winner. Nickel package. Good pressure by Russell. And there's, again, Darnell Walker coming up. And Big play fourth and less than one. Darnell's play kept him to uh, less than should be in. Oklahoma takes it over on the 46. This is a good run by Mike Gaddis right here. Good job. of got a third and seven from the 39. Third and seven, a little spring draw pass. Good throw by Kell and a good catch by Joey. I thought Joey caught the ball well, and obviously each catch and each game he's playing in, uh, he's got more confidence. We'll see it again, Gary, and uh, Mickey's certainly a big target. Good protection right here. Again, good touch on the football over that outstretched hands of their strong safety. And there goes big Joey. Mickey around 6'6", six, six and gains. Uh, play, we took another loss. Tried a long field goal right there, and then they were able to good play right there by Russell Allen, Joe Bowden. Big play here. Tried to hit their fullback in the flat. Jason Belser did a nice job of reading. The fullback came up, hit the ball with his helmet, caused the fumble, and also recovered the fumble. Again, this was a big play, obviously. Fewer passing to Poindexter. There's his head right on the football. So Oklahoma takes over, first and 10 from the 36. Trailing seven nothing. Come with the option pass right there. Another good throw by Kell. Good catch reception by Corey. This nice read right here by Kell. Looked for the split in. He was covered. Came back to our tight end. Good catch right there by Joey. Again, he's looking for X. He's covered. Good touch on the football right there. Big play by X by Kell and Joey. Split receiver. Split receiver. Scott Blanton on for the extra point. Again, that was a nice drive. Really did a nice job right there. Second and one. A little option pass hit the point right, right there. I think they get a personal foul tacked on this game in their off-tackle play. But they took some things away, but they gave us uh, some things. This was a third down and I think eight or nine. We hit uh, Melson out in the flat. We're a yard short, a good yard. I feel it was important to get points on the board and get the lead. And Scott Blanton came out and did a nice job right there. Well, that is uh, the Sooners' first field goal on the season, and Scott Blanton, who is a true freshman. Nice job of getting the ball tucked and getting out of bounds. Gain of 15. This one, the ninth consecutive completion. Boy, that's a great pass, good reception right there by Tink Collins. Tink played well for Saturday as well. Collins, four receptions, 89 yards, and Collins Mels and Melson both converted quarterbacks. Gundy on the move, perfect style. Great, great angle here on that shot. Gain of 50 yards, 257 remaining before half. But they, they came out and played zone. Fourth and three, Blanton on, knocks through the 27-yard field goal attempt. Seven plays, 77 yards, 13 to seven. The quarterback outside that obviously can hurt you. Fine kick here, Ryan Williams knocks this one through. Lost half, his, half of his foot in a lawn mowing accident as a child and had the Dempsey-like uh, shoe on. Kick that one into the wind, excellent kick. Well, it was an excellent kick. I didn't think he could make it uh, into the wind. I thought the center has come onto the field. Perfect afternoon, 72 degrees. 
A little wind, but not too much. First and 10 Hokies from the 20. Tried to run a tight Dean off the double screen. Really a nice tackle by Chris Wilson. Tried to run a little hitch and go. Really good coverage by Dar Darnell. He didn't uh, bite up on the on the hitch route. And I guess Darnell right there didn't hear the whistle. In half, we, were at, we weren't able to convert. We tried a 50-yard field goal right here, and we missed it to the left. 12-18 remaining third. Big play coming here. Again, they tried to quick screen, the, uh, just like the first play of the game, Dean. Trey Tippin's got his hands up, tipped the ball up. Joe Bowden did a nice job of coming over, making the interception, and also showed good speed and quickness right there on the return. Well, not only did he do this for the show, he even timed it such that we just came out of his feature, and now he does it again two weeks in a row. This is phenomenal. Again, as I said earlier, Joe has a chance to receive a lot of na national recognition and national honors. He's one of the fine linebackers in the country, and also when you have uh, interceptions for touchdowns, people are going to take notice. How is his, is it his groin, and how is his, what is his condition? Uh, he's still sore, and he's hindered a little bit, but we think he'll be much better during the course of uh, this week. 12:09 remaining third quarter, Oklahoma on top, 20 to 10. He dropped it. Get another sprint out pass right here. We're playing man coverage. Great coverage right there by Jason Belser. So after making the 50-yarder, Williams called upon again, misses the 28-yarder. So we're 5:58. The score remains. Up inside, that was the backside linebacker that made the play. Second good, and eight. Good, good throw and catch right there. This is an outstanding catch by six. Full option pass. We saw the strong safety in a, in a blitz. Second and goal from the three. Come back with the option right there. Kenyon does a nice job on their linebacker along with Ted Long. Good job of Joey Mickey and Kill goes in for the score. Really an excellent drive, Dean. 13 plays, 80 yards. Oklahoma in control. We see the option again. There's Ted and Kenyon. Allows Kill a chance to duck up inside for the touchdown. Oklahoma now has a 17 point lead, 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Third down to two. Got the ball off to do well. Really good job of running right there. Broke the tackle. Got downfield. That uh, Virginia Tech threw at us. Second and seven. After this, there's the play. Great play by 45 right there. Their inside linebacker Ricky Brady is coming wide open. Uh, they covered by Darnell Walker. Third down to come back with the fade. Looks like a little push there. 21's able to make the reception. Now we've taken a, a comfortable lead where we were controlling the ball game at 27 to 10 now because of the turnovers. There's Jason on the, Jason Belson on the coverage. First and ten. This one to Kennedy. Ball's tipped right there by Trey Tippins. Again, uh, missed tackle. Really not, obviously not pursuing the football very well right there. Good. Tour to Sturdivant. Big completion for the Hokies. Again, hit the curl route in between the two linebackers. Again, good job of Charles Franks right there. Franks was stunned a little. Uh, got, had his bell ring a little bit, Dean. Good job of Darnell. Again, our defense show a lot of patience. We got a little bit tired. They were able to convert to a couple third down situations, but our, our defensive team and staff uh, maintain their patience right here. And this will be the last play we will see. Walker with the interception of Fewer's pass. Third on the afternoon. Bringing it out. I was yelling to stay in the end zone, but he, he gained an extra three yards. But, uh, again, it was a big play by Darnell. He played a fine ball game. And that makes 13 interceptions. Final score, 27-17 sooner. And a lot of them.